series and this was a match winning performance. Yes, he's got him. Well, what a contest. Tremendous contest in that over. Jamie Howe goes leg before. Now, that's the third time he's gone leg before in the series. A four, a hook for six off the top edge, and now leg before. Well, I'm not sure there's too much doubt about this one. It's just beaten him for pace. His feet had been moving really well throughout this innings, but they got stuck on the crease line again. That's a quick delivery. Adrenaline run in here. Well, that's caught an edge. That's the end of Fleming. Caught behind. And the prize wicket of the New Zealand skipper trying to avoid it. And he's caught behind. Yes, he couldn't get out of the way of it, Stephen Fleming. Hung the bat there a little bit, tried to pull away, couldn't get the bat out of the way. Another good delivery from Lasith Malinga. Didn't want to play it, didn't want to play it, Stephen Fleming. Ramped it off the outside top edge. Gone. Good catch. Jay Warden up. Stephen Fleming, New Zealand skipper. Here it is again, Stephen Fleming. Almost looking like he wanted to feel the bat on the ball. Last minute, he didn't want to play it at all but could not get the bat out of the way in time. You can see that there, and it just ramped off the top outside edge. Prasanna Jayawardena. Good catch. Oh, That's pretty swift. And it uh, brings to an end uh, another very good over. New Zealand 40 for three. Edged and down. Sangakara, who made such a huge contribution with the bat. And he's given Matthew Sinclair a life. Just fending it off and, oh, catchable height too. Seven point seven, right on the money, and Nathan Astle got a little cast. Oh, we've just been treated to some great fast bowling from Lasith Malinga in the last half hour. Look at that, a little bit of tail on it. Astle struggling to pick it up. He just didn't move at all, and just an involuntary jab at the ball, and it was too late to get off the mark this morning. Six not out in seventy-two minutes. Can you believe that? From Matthew Sinclair. Magnificent bowling. Magnificent bowling. He's had him on the back foot. He's faced a bombardment of short balls and now the Yorker. He had to expect it. He saw it from uh, McCullum and McCullum's had been covering the stumps but Sinclair didn't batting on leg stump there was a big gap and Malinga adjusted his sights from the ball uh, two balls ago to McCullum and he got it bang on that is brilliant bowling uh, quite outstanding from Malinga bowling. oh my god that is unbelievable that is at the base of leg stump that is unplayable simply and utterly unplayable well, he's batting at seven, so it won't affect the average of him batting at eight. That's the good news. The bad news is that Vittori has just received the ball of the summer, despite it being early in the summer. Well, we've seen fast bowling here yesterday afternoon and this morning, comparable with any you will see. There is not a fast bowler in the world who can do it better than this, do it as well as perhaps on his good day, but this has been outstanding. 5 for 68, an outstanding performance and uh, you will hear a lot more of uh, this young fast bowler. I mentioned Tomo, <laughs> simply because uh, 
it's a similar kind of similar action, action, a slinging action, but much lower. Thomo was much over, much more over the top. But for a and player Thomo playing was a him, big guy as yes, well, and playing him for the first time, it can be awkward. Very awkward. I remember uh, uh, he's one of my favorite cricketers, by the way, in world cricket. Not because uh, he bowls fast, his attitude and he's a character. <laughs> he's a typical mad fast bowler character. That's what Malenga is, and he gets wicket. And remember, in the, I think that series, particular series, where, where, where they complained to an umpire to change his trousers mm. because. Because his, boy, his, his, you know, his arms comes from here, and the ball comes behind. The, the trousers was a white color, ball, red or white, whatever it was. I think it was a one-day cricket where they had to change the trousers. And yes, very difficult customer to face. He's a skitty. He's quick, 145 k's an hour. Uh, you know, he bowls per hour, and then and, and he goes. He just learned to bowl yorkers. So I think in one-day cricket he'll be very handy in future for Sri Lanka. Now this is a question I want to ask you. He gets the ball to reverse. He swings it. Now he defies all logic because you know you would normally say. Your finger should be behind Straight the seam. Straight behind the seam. His when the ball comes out is literally at this angle. That's why he mostly bowls in swings because it's it's sort of it's if like everything Wakar comes. Later if on if everything comes, yeah, it comes like this. So it's gonna come. It'll be an in swinger to a right hander. So that's why he'll bowl more in swinger. And from that angle, if the ball is stays straight. He'll, he gets a lot of uh, nicks. As you know, as a batsman, you'll be looking for end swing every time, and suddenly this ball is going straight, and you'll nick one. Because if it's a straight delivery, you'll have more chance of nicking that than uh, than away swing.